Hey guys, today we're going to explore Shape Tool. But before that, just a quick reminder. As you may remember, this month I have released my Affinity Designer course. It is a six hour long course. So if you are interested in learning more about Affinity Designer, please check out the link in the description of this video. Okay, let's back to our main topic. Today we're talking about Shape Tools. So Affinity Designer is really interesting. They got more shapes, built-in shapes than most of vector software that I know. Usually we got this circle, square, triangle, star. Like This is like the standard set. But here in Affinity Designer we got this big selection of different shapes, pre-made shapes. In addition, we also got something called like Smart Shape Control that we can use to alter the shapes, to even create a new shapes based on that. So I'm going to show you that today. Take a look. Okay, so the first shape on our tool list is rectangle. If you hold shift on your keyboard, you will get the perfect square. So that's the simple trick to keep the proportion one to one. Same with the next tool. Because we can make a circle or oval. Okay, and there is something called round corner rectangle tool. I don't think it's necessary to keep it as separate tool, so I don't really understand that decision. But here we got this smart shape control point. It got orange color. But if I go for normal rectangle and change the corner to round, it will appear as well. It's why I don't understand why we need to have a separate tool for that. Okay, and then finally this is our list of multiple smart shapes. It's quite a long list, as I mentioned, it's quite impressive for Affinity Designer. Let's start with the first one, Triangle Tool. Here it is, as you can see we got this orange point, control point. This is our smart shape point that we can adjust some properties of this given shape. But I cannot use node tool on it. I cannot drag nodes. If I want to do that, I need to convert to curves like this first. And now this is like normal shape. I cannot use the smart shape orange control point any longer, but I can add, remove and move nodes. Okay, so just keep it in mind. Next shape, diamond. You can see the control point straight away. We can also use the slider at the top, same function. And again, I cannot use node tool on it. First I need to convert to curves and now I can move nodes. So that's the common thing for all shapes in Affinity Designer. If you want to edit it, you need to convert to curves. But after you do that, you will lose these orange points, smart shape points. Okay, trapezoid here. This is really handy tool. You can move only one side or you can move both sides by holding shift on your keyboard. Okay, what next? Polygon tool. So polygon tool is similar to triangle tool, but in this case we can set multiple sides and we can also adjust this curve here. We can change the number. And we can adjust this curve over here. So you can use it instead of rectangle tool as well. Next on our list, star tool, very handy tool. We got three different control points here. At the top we can round. And we can also change the number of points. I can convert to curves and then I can modify nodes only after that. Okay, we got double star tool, very similar. We got just two different lay of the arm. Square star tool, also very similar tool. You got the idea. Then is arrow tool. So we got arrow, arrow shape, we can change the head and the ending of the arrow. 
we got orange points to control the shape. This is done at all, so we got circle with the hole inside. We can adjust the radius here. We can open the shape like this. That's really handy for infographics and stuff like that. So we can make this like meter-like chart very fast. Take a look. Then I can duplicate, copy and paste, modify the layer above, and you got this meter-like really fast thanks to this donor tool. Okay, very handy. But if I use no more circle like now, at the top I can convert this to donut. So you can convert normal circle to donut as well. Okay, pi tool. Again, we got tool based on circle. We can adjust the angle here. We can drag this to make a hole. Now this is donut tool again. And we can convert that from normal circle as well. This one looks like nothing special, but actually is quite useful. Very often we will need some kind of some part of circle in our design. And this one got two smart points that we can drag up and down to adjust this element without using geometry, without cutting it out from the huge circle. Here we can create a moon-like shape, really easy. We got one control point. This one is quite unique shape for this Affinity Designer. Not many programs got the special tool to draw cog-like shapes. Again, multiple orange points that we can adjust. This is cloud tool, but actually it's more like flower tool. This is very symmetrical. So we can make flower-like, cloud-like shapes. We got colored box, comic-like style. We can do some modification as well. There's one more based on the oval shape like this. We got two more smart shapes to talk about. This is like drop. This one is really interesting one. We can move it to the left, to the right. Got this nice organic curve. Nice shape, really easy using built-in tool. Okay, and the last one on our long list is heart shape. We got this orange control point here. And it's really handy shape, especially for leaves. When you're making some plant illustration, you can use it for leaves. It's what I do very often. So the main point of this lesson is to just keep in mind that we got all these pre-made shapes in, in Affinity Designer. We always tend to start from like square or circle, but here we got multiple shapes that can help us thanks to the smart controls. So we don't need to start with the blank canvas. We can first put some pre-made shapes and then alter that base, work based on that. We can use the orange modifiers and then we can convert to curves and use node tool to finish up our illustration. So it was really big, big breakthrough for me when I start using them because when I switch up to Affinity Designer, at first I stick only with like core shapes, basic shapes that I remember from different software like Adobe Illustrator or Core Draw. So I used star, square, and circle all the time, and this was my base for my illustrations. But when I start using smart shapes, it really speed up my workflow thanks to that orange control points that I can adjust, and it really saved me time. I don't need to draw everything by pen tool, by hand. I can just start with this pre-made shape, combine them together, and this is really good start, head start with your illustration. So I recommend you to give it a go, try some of these smart shapes, and remember to adjust modifiers, to adjust them for your needs. Okay guys, thank you for today and see you in my next tutorial.